City Gen. In depth guide number 4. City Gen procedural environment and HDRI baking. City Gen comes with a procedural lighting environment, which amounts to a virtually limitless HDRI lighting environment. To activate the lighting environment along, go to the City Gen environment panel and click Add Sky. Click Show Settings for the sky. Change the sun elevation in degrees to find the desired time of the day for shooting. Click Add Clouds to make the environment more dramatic. You can add a limitless ocean to enhance the view. Depending on the performance of your computer it might be wise to turn off the render view mode when navigating. You can change the look of the clouds, by clicking show settings for the clouds, and changing relevant values. But this along will take another dedicated tutorial, so let's skip them this time. You can use this to light other projects. Let's use a car for example. This lighting environment is called City Gen Dynamic Sky. And it comes with 5 presets for ease of use. Morning, Noon, Afternoon, Sunset, and the Night. Let's take a closer look at the night sky, featuring interactive moon. You can change the location of the moon, and the moon will appear correctly in relation to the direction of the sun, you can change the size of the moon of course. You can see the stars in the distance and the moonlight correctly hitting the clouds. Clouds are beautiful and dramatic, but rendering them can be very time-consuming. So, City Gen offers an option to bake a City Gen dynamic sky to a static HDRI environment. Let's take a look. To activate the baking option, click Show HDRI Baking Settings. You can set the X and Y resolution of the final image, or just change the percentage of the default resolution. The bigger the HDRI, the clearer the clouds in the sky will appear later. Here, the final HDRI size of 400% will result in a 17K HDRI. And here you can change the default export file path for your HDRI, but it might be best to keep this as it is because the image will be saved in the same file directory of your blend file. And check color depth in float, full, option, if you want your HDRI saved in 32-bit colors. The default is 16-bit. And you can see the baking buttons are not showing up. It's because you haven't saved this blend file yet. Let's save this blend file and come back to this panel. Once you saved your file, hover over the panel, and you'll see two baking buttons show up. The Bake Current Sky button is for baking the current City Gen Dynamic Sky into a static HDRI to use in this blend file. The Bake Current View button is an additional feature. It bakes the entire current scene, viewed from the current location, into an HDRI to use in other projects. For example, you can use them for a short aerial shot of some object in midair, or for some outside views from an interior of an ArchViz project. Let's try the Bake Current View first. The file size for export has been reduced to one-tenth of the default size for demonstration purposes. But you can export them virtually in any size you want. Once the rendering is completed, the file gets automatically saved in the predefined file path with the file name city gen underscore scene underscore hdri. But additionally, you can choose to save them in any other file format that Blender allows. Once you're done, be sure to click quit hdri baking mode to return to normal mode. Now let's try the Bake Current Sky button. Now the camera shifts to the center of the world and renders just the environment. If you're not satisfied with the finished render, be sure to click Quit HDRI Baking Mode to return to normal mode to make additional changes to the lighting environment. If you're satisfied with the finished render however, click Set Bake Current HDRI as Environment. City Gen will automatically replace the dynamic sky with this HDRI environment. Now the floating clouds are all high in the air. But the lighting is still clear and sharp. Rendering your scene with this baked environment will result in 4 to 5 times faster renders for each frame. You can switch back to City Gen Dynamic Sky anytime you want by clicking Add Restore Dynamic Sky. You might be tempted to sell or share the HDRIs you've created with City Gen. But please do not, unless you've purchased an additional license from the creator of City Gen for that. One final note. One advantage of using City Gen Dynamic Sky over HDRI is the ability to render moving clouds or shadows or even time lapse shots. You see, the City Gen clouds are always on the move. So, this wraps up this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And thank you for choosing City Gen.